Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm sharing with you one of my safety cord extension hacks. I originally came up with this idea for my outdoor holiday decorations, but it turns out they are also great for any other kind of temporary connection you have where you want to have an extension cord plugged into some kind of a device so that you can prevent them from accidentally being disconnected or maybe intentionally being disconnected or for some added protection against moisture and debris. This hack is easy to do and I've made a bunch of them using one and a half inch pipe and two inch pipe plus end caps. In reverse style for my videos, I actually had a previous video that had a much more dialed in version of this extension cord security, which was designed for indoor use. I started by making a notch in the side of the pipe that we were using, but in today's design, we're gonna put the notches in the end caps. Hey, here's another bonus use for this project. You ever have to run an extension cord under or behind furniture? Well, this is a great way to make sure that those connections stay secure so you don't have to move furniture around just to reconnect your cords. Since one of my main goals was to prevent accidental or intentional disconnection of the power cords, I came up with two ways to go about this. One, you can kind of loop and knot the cords on the inside of the pipe, or you can just go ahead and create these so that the complete distance from end to end on the two connections really sits tightly against the end caps, which will make them impossible to pull apart. I do want to go ahead and point out the importance at this point of sanding down any of the edges where the actual extension cord can rub against a cutout portion because this could cause some damage to your extension cord if it's not smoothed. So make sure you get that from the start and you'll be good to go. As I mentioned before, in the previous version, I cut one notch to accommodate all power cords that were going to be coming out of the device. This time, we want one cord coming out each end of the two when we're done. To begin, we're going to drill a hole in the end cap right in the center, just bigger than the diameter of the power cord that we're going to run through it. From this, we're going to extend the same width from the hole to one edge of the top and then down the sides, and that's going to be the notch that we're going to cut out. I think this is a good point where the obligatory warning about knowing your limits and being safe comes into play. Although I'm holding this with one hand and using the Dremel to cut out my notch, a much safer approach would definitely be to go ahead and put this in a vise and then cut out your notch. Also, if you do not have a dust mask and eye protection, I would highly recommend using a hacksaw as this does get messy and throws a lot of fine pieces of PVC up into the air. Now that we have one of the notches prepared, let's take a look at how it's supposed to work. With the cap off of the pipe, you just lay the cord right inside the notch and then put the pipe over the end. And you can see that once we have it secured, the cord can't be pulled back out. And then of course, to actually secure our end caps, we're gonna use zip ties. After all, if they're strong enough to be used as temporary handcuffs, they're strong enough to keep our end caps in place as well. By using the zip ties to hold these in place, someone's going to have to take an extra step and have something to be able to cut these apart if they really want to mess with your devices and unplug something or potentially try to take off with some part of your decorations. And they might have to go the extra step and actually ruin the decoration by cutting the power cord, but at that point, I think most people would actually have given up. You'll notice I sized this one and a half inch pipe to be perfect so that each end of this extension cord is gonna reach the end cap of the pipe, which means if someone pulls hard from one end, your connection's still gonna hold together. And because I wasn't very precise about how I drilled these holes for the zip ties, I did go ahead and label the inside of the pipe and the end cap for which one goes on which end. That way, it makes it really easy for future use if I've taken it apart and figure out which piece goes on which end of the pipe. So let's go ahead and take a complete walkthrough on how I might set one of these up.
See, it's really simple, and once the zip ties are there, I just go ahead and pull them tight across the notch, and everything is held snugly together. Now, I do have some plugs that won't fit inside the one and a half inch pipe, which is why I also made the two inch pipe version. So now we get to take a look at these two and exactly how I'm planning on using them. You'll note that you'll never see the notches when I put these outside because they're always facing down so that they don't have water collect on the inside if it rains or if the sprinklers come on. If I want to take them back apart, all I have to do is get out some wire cutters or scissors, cut the zip ties apart, and go back at it. But while the zip ties are there, you can see these hold really strong. I do find these to be extremely helpful with outdoor holiday decorations, especially when it comes to the lighting, because if someone accidentally kicks a connection apart, it's sometimes hard to root it back through in the dark, finding out which one has come apart and where. This way, I don't have to worry about it. Thanks for taking the time to stop by Dialed In DIY and powering through my little hack video today. I hope you liked it, or maybe found a nice tip out of there somewhere, and if you did, I'd love to know by having you click that thumbs up below. Please feel free to share the video with others, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe while you're here. You can feel free to also check out any of my playlists for similar or other DIY projects, and as always, please feel free to come on back, because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.